Uh, hello, and welcome to all Wikipedians, Wikimedians, Awesomers, and everyone in between. I'm Jack Lover, probably better known as Zeno, and I'm speaking to you today from Toronto, Canada. I'm happy to be at Wikiconference North America for the second year in a row, and so excited about this year's crossover with OpenStreetMap. Uh, I've been learning a lot about the similarities between these two collaborative projects and look forward to learning more. I want to thank the interpreters for their support of this event. And though I'm a bit nervous, I will try to speak slowly. I will also try to define any terms that might be unfamiliar, especially to our friends from OSM. Please feel free to ask any questions in the session chat or by using the Q&A function, and I'll try to answer them afterwards. So a bit about me, I have been editing Wikipedia since 2008 and have served in a number of volunteer positions, including on the English Wikipedia's Arbitration Committee. Uh, an Arbitration Committee, or ARBCOM, is an elected group of volunteer users that serves as a binding dispute resolution body for a given Wikimedia project. And in July of 2022, I accepted a role as the Senior Committee Support Manager for Wikimedia Foundation in the Legal Department. Prior to that, I was a facilitator for the Movement Strategy and Governance team. So what does the committee support team do? Uh, as you may know, there are a number of volunteer committees in operation within the Wikimedia movement, and our team provides essential staff support to some, but not all of these volunteer committees. Uh, we provide both logistical and strategic support, and we work to ensure that the volunteer committees have access to the tools and support they need to operate smoothly. We also coordinate with other staff within the foundation to provide support as necessary in identifying and addressing complex issues. These are the main committees that we support. Uh, the Affiliations Committee advises the Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees on the recognition of movement affiliates and also provides some conflict resolution. Uh, affiliates are made up of user groups, thematic organizations, and chapters, each of which support the goals of the movement by organizing users, hosting events, and undertaking projects for which the foundation often provides funding through grants. Uh, an example of a user group is Wikiconference North America, the group that helped plan this very event. And an example of a chapter is Wikimedia New York City, which is the fiscal sponsor of this event and administered the grant for the conference. And an example of a thematic organization is Wikiproject Med Foundation that promotes the development and distribution of healthcare content on Wikimedia projects. Altogether, there are over 180 movement affiliates currently recognized. We also provide support to some, but not all of the arbitration committees in operation. And we are working to extend our support to more of these committees. And if you currently serve on an ARCOM that is not actively supported, please reach out to me for more information. We also provide support to the stewards. Stewards are not technically a committee. They're a global group of users that have trusted and high level permissions across all public Wikimedia wikis. Uh, the Ombuds Commission, uh, the OC or colloquially OMBIS, is a volunteer group that investigates complaints about violations of the privacy policy, especially in relation to the use of check user and oversight tools. Uh, the check user tool allows trusted users to view the IP and other identifying information about a user when there's a reasonable suspicion of abuse. And the oversight tool allows trusted users to suppress sensitive information from anyone without the same access. Uh, the Case Review Committee, or CRC, is a group of users that review appeals of eligible trust and safety office actions. And office actions represent changes to or removals of content on Wikimedia projects or actions against specific individuals pursuant to the terms of use that are performed by foundation staff members upon receipt of complaints or as required by law. Uh, some of these decisions can be appealed and the CRC helps to ensure office actions that are taken are fair and unbiased. Uh, and finally, we provide some logistical support to the Universal Code of Conduct Revisions Drafting Committee. Uh, this is the group that's working to update the draft enforcement guidelines for the Universal Code of Conduct or UCOC. Uh, and the UCOC itself is meant to provide a global baseline uh, of acceptable behavior across the movement. Uh, so let's meet the team. Uh, Karen Brown, who some of you may know as Fluffernutter, supports the Ombuds Commission. Brian Chu, also known as Airplane Man, supports the CRC. Manav Preet Kaur and Dumasani and Dabani support the Affiliations Committee. And last but not least, Joe Sutherland, who you may know as Fox, supports the English Wikipedia Arbitration Committee and the Stewards. Uh, we also enjoy staff support from a number of talented folks. Uh, Arik Karani, Chuck Rosloff, Margot Lee, Nazma Ahmed, Nina DeVolder, uh, and leadership support from Maggie Dennis, Stephen Laporte, and Jacob Rogers, who is our uh, director. 
And I'd like to take this opportunity to let everyone know that we are looking for new members to join the Ombuds Commission and the Case Review Committee. Uh, the work involved uh, on the OC is typically between two and five hours per week, and the work on the CRC is mostly depending on their caseload, with each review taking between five and ten hours asynchronously per case, uh, and cases come intermittently. Uh, and these groups primarily collaborate via email lists and chat, occasionally meeting over Google Meet. And if you'd like to apply to the OC, you can email ca at wikimedia.org. If you'd like to apply to the CRC, you can email legal at wikimedia.org. Applications are open until the end of December, and we'd like you to include some information about the projects you edit, the languages you speak or write, any experience you have serving on committees uh, or with the relevant tools, as well as your thoughts on what you could bring to the role if appointed. Uh, I'm gonna paste a link to the announcement about this appointment round in the session chat. We also have a conversation hour upcoming this Wednesday, November 16th, if you'd like to learn more, and you can find the link in the announcement. I understand I'm going a little fast and I am sorry about that. Uh, thank you for taking time out of your day to hear about the work of my team and the important work of these volunteer committees. Uh, again, feel free to post any questions you have in the chat or by using the Q&A function. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.